Hello Facebook world, we're coming to you live on this Wild Tree Wednesday. It's Maria and Claire. And Claire. She's got her blanket on because it is just really cold today. Um, we are really excited to be with you all today. Hopefully some more people will pop on as we get started here and um, start sharing what we're going to do. I see Kristen is on and waiting for a couple others to pop on. If you're on, just give me a quick shout out. Laura's on. Hey, Laura. Can't wait to see you in Vegas next week. That's where we'll be next week at this time. Um, we are so excited to get um, our Instant Pot out today. I've been cooking with it all week long and it's been such a lifesaver. Uh, like I mentioned last week, I am going to be offering an Instant Pot cooking group um, at my house soon. So if that's something that interests you, if you want to grab your Instant Pot, maybe it's still in the box from the holidays, maybe it's sitting on your counter and you've been super scared to use it, I hope that you'll be available next month to pop on over. I think that um, workshop is going to be on February 26th, that's a Monday night, and we are going to put together all kinds of Instant Pot recipes we're going to eat a ton of food, so you'll get to come hungry. We'll have wine. It's going to be super fun. So um, today, though, I wanted to show you all a breakfast option. I've been showing you a lot of different ways to do dinner in the Instant Pot, but today I wanted to show you breakfast. Breakfast is one of those meals that people are just kind of harried around. It's, you know, grab this or that out of the cupboard or grab cereal toast, and people don't put a lot of thought into it because everybody's super rushed in the morning. But breakfast can be such a great way to start your day and um, a way to keep you really full through lunch so that you aren't starving or snacking when you get to work. So I wanted to show you these steel cut oats. So I picked up at the grocery store some steel cut oats. If you've never had steel cut oats, I wanted to show you what they look like. I got this container, but they, they sell them at Trader Joe's. They sell them at every grocery store now. If you've never had steel cut oats, they are amazing. Um, if you've had steel cut oats and you love them, give me some hearts or give me some thumbs up. Um, let me know that you like steel cut oats. I love them. They are super hearty and stick with you a lot longer than regular oats. And they are really, really versatile. Just like regular oatmeal, you can put a ton of stuff in them. My little monger over here is um, eating all the apples for today's demo, by the way. Another tip is cut up fruits and vegetables when it's dinner time because your kids will eat all of them. <laughs> so every time I prep um, food when it's dinner time, all of my little nibblings uh, get eaten up by the kiddos. So we're going to get started really soon so that she doesn't eat all the apples that are going to go into our steel cut oats. Um, but anyways, um, we've got the steel cut oats here. Uh, we're going to use a cup of those. I've got some raisins. I'm going to use just a handful of those. And if you don't like raisins, you don't have to use them. So I like to add raisins um, to the Instant Pot for this recipe because they get really nice and plump and um, versus adding them like afterwards. And But if you hate raisins, then don't add them in. We're also going to be adding um, um, apples. I chopped some up to add. They just add a lot of extra sweetness to the oatmeal and because we're making them in the Instant Pot they're really just going to shrink up and melt down and just make the um, oatmeal really really sweet without adding a lot of sugar. Um, the other thing we're going to use which is an, a unique ingredient, a little tip here, is um, the Wild Tree Coconut Oil. I am obsessed with our coconut oil, especially this time of year. I just keep it out on the counter. It's so nice for chapped lips. It's great for dry spots if you've got eczema or really, really dry winter skin. If your knuckles get dry from doing dishes and, and everything else, um, just keep that out on your counter. I love ours because it does not smell like coconut, so you will not smell like a tanning salon. It doesn't taste like coconut, so you can add it to anything that you're cooking and you're good to go. So what I'm going to use this for is actually to grease my Instant Pot bin. Um, the inside of the Instant Pot drum, I mean, is... Um, I don't want my oats to get stuck, and a tip somebody shared was to use coconut oil or cooking spray, and I prefer coconut oil because there's no chemicals in it, and just wipe it down on the inside of the Instant Pot. So Claire is going to demonstrate that really quick. All right, I think you're going to probably have to put the blanket down, sweetie. All right, so she's going to just grease the inside of this drum so that our oats don't stick all over the place. So we just like to use a baggie and then just wipe the inside of the Instant Pot drum. Get all nice and coated. You probably don't have to do all the way to the top, probably just like halfway around. 
Yay! I love seeing so many of you on here. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Betsy. Hey, Abby. Hey, Erin. Hey, Jen. See you next week, girl. All right, so that's all nice and greased. All right, let me turn this around. Um, we are now going to add um, our ingredients. Now, my other secret weapon to this recipe is the Wild Tree Hearty Oatmeal Mix-In, sugar and spice. This is such a, I mean, you can see, like I'm almost out of this. I've got like 10 other jars in my pantry though because we use it for everything in our house. Um, this is great for oatmeal. It's gonna be so yummy in this recipe. It has a lot less sugar in it than regular um, sugary add-ins that you would add to oatmeal. And it also is really versatile. So we actually put this on our sweet potatoes when we're doing roasted sweet potatoes and the kids will gobble them up. We'll put the, them on baked sweet potatoes. We put it um, in our ener energy bites. We literally have a batch of energy bites in our fr refrigerator almost every single week because we're obsessed over them. The kids love this flavor. I personally love our coconut flavor. So this is our hearty oatmeal mixing coconut flavor. This is my personal favorite. So I'm not gonna add this to the drum today. I'm gonna add this one. And then in the morning when I am I'm getting my portion out, I can just sprinkle a little of this in and get my coconut flavor that I really, really love. So um, that's how I'm going to work that. So I've got both of these out. If you've never tried this, I just can't highly recommend it enough. I'm happy to pass along the Energy Bite recipe, sweet potato recipe, um, the oatmeal recipe. I've got so many friends that just let their kids add it to their oatmeal, instant oatmeal in the morning. They buy the plain oatmeal without sugar in it and then just add this. So it's great to have on hand. So we're going to add to the drum. Claire, can you add um, the water, please? Okay. So we're going to add three cups of water. Oops, got baggy. Attached you. And we're going to add one cup of seal cut oatmeal. And if I had to guess for the hearty oatmeal mix-in, I'm going to guess that we've got a tablespoon and a half or a couple tablespoon at most in there. Probably a tablespoon and a half. Just dump the whole thing, Claire. Just dump that in there. Okay, why don't you get a spoon and stir that up. And then I'm going to add just a sprinkle of raisins. And then I'm going to add my diced apples. I left the skin on and... Um, the way she's eating all of these she told me like five minutes ago that she didn't like apples so you know just cut it up and put it out they'll eat it um, we're gonna dump all these apples in there Oops. okay so there we go. Now, the reason I'm cooking this in the Instant Pot, for those of you who have never cooked with steel cut oats before, they take forever. They take at least 30 minutes on the stovetop. Ooh, I was getting really too close. Um, they take 30 minutes on the stovetop. So when you're rushed in the morning, who's got time for watching a pot boil and then adding this and stirring it for five minutes and then letting it set for another 25 minutes? That's just way too much time and nobody has time for that. So with the Instant Pot, I can get them cooked in 15 minutes start to finish. That's including the heat up time that it takes for the Instant Pot and um, be completely hands off. So I can be doing whatever. And the nice thing about the steel cut oats is they are so hearty and so yummy that you can make them um, the night before or the day before and they totally taste amazing reheated in the morning. I just put a splash of unsweetened vanilla almond milk on there and again I put in my coconut hearty oatmeal mix in in there and um, it's just a great really great quick and easy breakfast. So for those of you that maybe commute in the mornings you could just portion out some for yourself. This makes four servings so you could just portion those out and just grab and go, um, heat it up, and eat it on your car on the way to work. You just put it in a jar. So um, this is a really, really super smart option for very busy people who want to eat healthy. So we're going to put the lid on. Yeah, my lid is doing something funny. There we go. And we're going to... Do, 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 do. Here, we're going to click porridge, but we don't need 20 minutes. I'm going to put it down to four minutes, you guys. This is going to cook in four minutes. 
and it's gonna take 10 minutes to come to pressure. Then we've got the four minute cooking time, and then we'll probably let it just um, naturally release for a couple of minutes, and then I'll do a quick release and let the steam out, and it'll be good to go. I'll just throw it into a Tupperware container. I may portion it out for everybody this week um, in my family, and we've got quick and easy breakfast that I know are gonna keep everybody super full and focused, and um, I know that it, they've had something good before they've gone out the door, and I know I've got something super easy as well. So, you excited about that, Claire? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Hopefully that was super helpful. Um, leave some comments. If, well, I'm gonna, oh, there were a lot of comments that came through. Oh, Betsy said, I have such a terrific helper. I do, she's the best. I love that kid so much. Um, Mandy said that she just made those this morning. And Violet says, hey, we have that pot. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, and Tara says that she's always looking for great breakfast ideas. I know, I am too. And I love that I can use my Instant Pot to the full advantage. Now, for dinner tonight, I actually used my, um, it, uh, my Dutch oven. So for dinner tonight, we are having, let me show you guys, it's amazing. We're having the Moho pork tacos today. So that's a pork tenderloin with the Wild Tree Moho sauce, which is like, I could drink that sauce, you guys. They, they should come up with a drink for that. Um, or they should make it in a gallon size. And then I've got corn in there and some beans and literally just threw that in the oven for a few hours at 250 degrees. And that's our dinner tonight. Everybody's gonna put it on tacos. We've got some cilantro and avocado and some lime wedges and we're good to go. So dinner and breakfast are served over at the Hardy House. I'm on my way out to meal prep with 10 new women um, who are going to put together a variety of our dinner prep workshops. And um, I'm not stressed at all. I'm super excited to get out tonight. See you all later. Bye-bye. Oh, have you ever tried making yogurt? Sorry, I'm gonna answer one quick question. No, I've never made yogurt. I just not a big yogurt eater, so haven't thought to make it yet. I know it's a function on there. I hear people say it's delicious and amazing, but I have not personally tried it yet. So when you all try it, let me know how it goes. Thanks, bye-bye. Thanks, Leisha.